بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم words to my muslim sister my dear sister know my dear muslim sister that you are man's sister and half of humanity you are a mother wife daughter sister aunt granddaughter or grandmother the prophet may peace and blessing be upon him said what translated into women are indeed men's partners this is found in abu dawood you are a member of the great nation of islam the best nation ever produced for mankind no other nation on earth has more great men leaders and conquerors than this nation it is a nation of guidance and the straight religion and it leads humanity to righteousness and the truth it transforms people from worshippers of slaves to worshippers of the lord of slaves from life's pressures to the pleasures of the life after and from the injustice of other religions to the justice of islam your ancestors great women of islam were one of the main reasons for this great nation to take this great place among all nations allah glorified be he who has granted islam to this nation made a high place for muslim women and decreed that they share in the responsibilities of enjoining the truth and forbidding evil and raising the flag of islam allah exalted be he said in the meaning of which the believers men and women are loyalist of one another they enjoin righteousness and forbid evil they offer their prayers perfectly and give the zakat the obligatory alms and obey allah and his messenger allah will leave his mercy allah will leave his mercy on them surely allah is almighty all wise this is found in the noble quran chapter 9 verse 71 allah has given muslim women what they can bear of orders and duties what they can afford of orders and duties he is the god who knows his creation should he not know what he created and he is the most kind all aware of everything quran chapter 67 verse 14 my dear sister please you are called upon today to truly become an active member of the muslim nation striving to establish victory for allah's words implement the quran and help build the generations of iman of faith by following of course the sunnah the way of prophet muhammad may peace and a blessing be upon him what do your enemies want from you what do your enemies want from you my dear sister There are those who want to distract you from doing your duty. They want to distract you from meeting your noble obligation, that is to defend the religion of Allah and raise his words high. Those enemies use many methods. Let's go over some of the methods. First, they distract you from what Allah created you to perform of worship, belief and da'wah, propagating Islam. They use this worldly life as their bait, jewelry f- stores. They use this worldly life as their bait or baits, jewelry stores, fashions that originate in non-Muslim countries, uh, new models of all the time, desires, raised hunger that can never be satisfied, pleasures and competition for them, and endless ways for joy, endless. illegal way in in this prohibited ways that's the problem allah did not create us for this indulging in these matters is usually accompanied by wasting time 
and money and igniting enmity and competition between the rich and the poor. Secondly, they ignite enmity between you and man. To those sinners, you are a daughter that is put down, a humiliated mother, an abused wife, and an oppressed sister. Men are always unjust, hypocrites, dictators, freedom preventers, and suppressors, according to them. There is lots of fabrication or fabricated and a war that those evil ones are starting for no reason other than to direct you to rebel against your father, be arrogant with your brother, and disobedient to your husband. They do not call for justice, mercy, and unity. <clears throat> they do not call for justice, mercy, and unity. They call for hatred, arrogance, and disastrous competition and destruction. Third, they do not stop at their call for rebellion against parents, brothers, and husbands. Rather, they plot against Islam. They call upon you to rebel against the obligations of Islam and the decrees of the all-knowing, the King, Allah, your Creator. Islam to them is unjust, and Islamic laws are imperfect and restrictive. They call upon you day and night to repel and insist on the disobedience of this religion. They try to rid you of your religion. They try to rid you of your comfort and safety under generous parenthood, happy marriage, and good brotherly relations. Those devils portray piety and honor as chains on freedom, as fetters on freedom. To them, hijab does not cover the head, but also covers the mind. Prayer, fasting, and zakat are all waste of time and effort, and obedience to husbands is slavery and a return to the Stone Age. They distorted all facts and changed all truths, all to serve their evil goals. They continue to do so, and they will never stop. My dear sister, my dear sister, the goals the goals that your enemies and the enemies of your religion are seeking to achieve are well known. They want you to be available for them to fulfill their evil desires whenever they wish. They want you to be a mistress that has no honor. They want you to be found everywhere on roads and in places of sin without honor, religion or manners. They seek for you only what they want you to do. The Western world has gone through this all women of the west are the part of the society that is facing injustice and dishonor they strive to please men who keep changing partners and seek pleasures but with no responsibility and no consideration of the evil consequences of their sinful actions O oh, muslim sister O oh, muslim sister or oh, sisters read and know about those women who have discarded shyness and honor and followed their desires. What was the result of their deeds? Was their end honorable and desirable, or was it a shameful and hated end? Advice for my sisters in Islam. Be proud of your religion. Please, be proud of your religion and the religion of your ancestors. Be a good example for your sons and daughters and sincere in your belonging to this mighty nation, Islamic nation. Know that honor is an honor to all wise people and that adultery is dishonorable to all nations, even if some called it freedom. Know that adultery is also done with the eyes by seeing, with the ears by listening, and with the mouth by kissing, as was mentioned in a hadith related by Imam Muslim for Prophet Muhammad Your happiness, O oh my sister, is in being an obedient and believing daughter, a loyal and generous wife, and a pious and merciful mother. Know that prayer is the cornerstone of Islam. Know that prayer is the cornerstone of Islam. Fasting one day for the sake of Allah takes your face 70 years away from hellfire as the hadith related by as the hadith says related by 
al-Bukhari and Muslim states, as the hadith states, charity is a major cause for gaining forgiveness and for repentance to be accepted. And it's a healing process. Those women who are showing parts of their bodies to men will not enter paradise or smell its fragrance and are cursed, as in the hadith related by Imam Muslim. Hijab is an honor and a protection for you, O oh my sister. Hijab must be modest in color and not exotic, wide and thick and not exotic. Hijab is an honor and protection for you. Hijab must be modest in color and not exotic. Hijab must be wide and thick, not revealing. Different from the dress of non-Muslim women and men. You should not imitate them. My dear sister, my dear sister or sisters, these are words from the heart. These are words from the heart. These are words of good and sincere advice. Beware of the loyalists of Satan or the devils who want to mislead you or take or lead you astray. Be a slave of Allah. Righteous, be righteous and a descendant of the righteous woman and know your role in building this great nation of Islam. Perform your duty and do not be a cause for destruction. Be a maker of righteous generation, righteous society that will lead mankind again to what is right and proper, to the great religion of Islam. This article that I've read to you appeared in a recent issue of the Muslim Creed, Volume 3, Number 2, February 1995. That's an old article, but it's a beautiful article. A free of charge Islamic magazine meant for the dissemination of the Islamic creed, knowledge and methodology of Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah, the people who follow the Sunnah and they stick to the unity of the Muslim in the light of the Quran and the authentic Sunnah, the way of Prophet Muhammad as understood and practiced by the predecessors and it is published by the dear of Islamic heritage. I will end by saying, may Allah protect you my dear sisters, and keep you all those examples to all the women all over the world, Muslims, Muslim and non-Muslim. Keep it up and know at the end of the day, you're dealing with your creator who has created you. Take care. Assalamu alaikum. Alhamdulillah. Praise be to Allah.